Hey there, Thomas Michaud here with Real Guitar School. Let's talk about note reading, reading notes on the guitar. So first let me tell you a little bit why I think reading notes is cool, and then I'll give you some ideas on how to learn the best way possible. Reading music on the guitar is fun, and it's also a That's because the guitar was just not made for reading music. Sometimes I'll be playing the guitar and looking at the notes and my fingers will be going off the strings and the notes are going down. That's because you can play the same note in different places on the strings, so you can never tell exactly by the written notation where it'll be on the guitar. In spite of that, I think it's well worth learning to read music on the guitar. Now you don't have to be an expert or, or even a sight reader, meaning you can just look at the sheet and play the whole thing. But just to get the basics and a little bit of competency will go a long ways. And it's really not as hard as you would think just on the surface level. That's because like anything else, it just takes practice and patience. So why would you want to learn to read music? Well, I'm going to summarize. It opens up a lot of options for you in ways to learn songs. It also makes it easier to communicate with other musicians. Everybody else does read music. And finally, it is a lot of fun, and it does build your confidence. So let's talk about the best way to learn note reading. Like many things, it works best if you're systematic about it. You want to start from a simple and then add on step by step. There are a lot of tips and tricks for reading music but I'm going to stick to what works best in the beginning stages. Here's a basic system for learning. First, start with just a few notes. Usually, I start students with the first string, the first open E, F first finger, and G third finger. Do some exercises with those basic notes, get comfortable with it, then add the second string, then the third string, and so on, all the while adding some exercises and songs that use the additional notes. Learn in the open position first. That means the notes that are using the open strings and the fingers all in the first three, maybe four frets. The next position, first position and second position, leave that to later. Start with simple note duration. What I mean by that is start with just quarter notes. And then as you progress, start adding eighth notes and then integrate some rests and more difficult rhythmic figures. What I often do with students when they get to a little more complex rhythms is I'll have them practice them separately by clapping the rhythm first. Then I'll add pitches to the exercise. Use by copy playing to help you learn to get your fingers around the fretboard. That means the teacher or you can watch a video will play a few notes and then you copy it on the guitar. It helps your fingers learn to get around the fretboard, but it really helps with ear training as well. Always warm up before you start your note reading practice. What I mean by that, do a simple finger exercise. I usually have students do this in the very beginning stages. And I have more complex ones for later. But what that does is helps your fingers get around the fretboard so you're not struggling with just the mechanics of getting to the next note. Practice note reading a little bit each day. It's important to keep coming back at it. Even 10 minutes a day will make a big difference from practicing and then letting several days go by. Use a progressive set of materials, usually a book or an online course that starts from very simple songs and exercises and keeps progressing as you add notes. There's two books that I've used many times. One is Note Reading Method. It's a progressive series. Pete Vogel is the author. And the other one is uh, the standard Hal Leonard Book One Guitar Method. And uh, you can find these easily online or at your local music store. If you're a member of my online course, Real Guitar Awesomeness, there's a whole section in there, a whole module on note reading, and it does just that. It starts you from the very beginning and goes step by step. If you're not a member, you might want to look into it. I'll include a link somewhere at the bottom of this video. So I hope I've encouraged you to at least give it a try and stick your toe into the waters of note reading. If you liked my video, please share it with your friends and like it on Facebook, YouTube, also, there's much more to this lesson. If you go over to my blog, you'll see uh, some written notes that I've done that aren't included in the video. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.